Welcome back to the action of the 2013 Yorkshire Building Society Pudsey Classic. The final is underway between James Davison and Greg Smith, and here are your commentators, Callum Ray, Mike Holden, but first, Jimmy Hearn. So I think we're all in agreement that the two most consistent bowlers on the day are in the final. Yeah, uh, I agree, Jim. James, 5-2 up at the moment. Greg, Nine. one in at least. Might even be two. Greg looks like he, he has he left the p Jimmy's having a look. I'm, I'm not sure. Body language seems to suggest he might think he's got a pair. Mm, yeah, he'd have picked that backing up if he hadn't. So if if he does have a pair, it's <coughs> seven two. Callum, how often can you can you keep on giving leads and expect to get back in a game? Usually at this level, you, you can't really keep getting away with that. Um, like I say, if Greg looks to be two down there, which he is, so it's seven two. He's played two very very poor balls for him. Um, I mean, you can't keep doing that too many times against someone of Jimmy D's class. Um, and Jimmy D's just just where he wants to be now in these corners, um, just across the spine. And he uh, he did not play them well against um, against Mark Hughes in that semi final. So if he can get in a little bit of a rhythm, you'd think if he gets a good five minutes together, you know the trophy could be his. Yeah, the game could be over in five or ten minutes if Jimmy gets on like he were playing against Uzi. Uh, this is just going to die a little bit, maybe six foot short. Greg's going to play left-handed Greg. Should be able to get underneath that ball if he actually sends it. <laughs> <laughs> and again. And he got away with it there third time. He's given Greg a bit of room this time there, Mike. Yeah, he has. He's not punished not him again. You can't keep doing that at this no. level. No, against class players like Jimmy, you've got to get in as soon as you can. He's under pressure now. He's going to be two down. They might not be real balls, but he's still two down. He's looking at going nine two down. That's five foot all round the jack to count. He's got to find one here for me. He's after it. I think he's sure, but I think he's all right, Callum. Oh, you're right. You've napped it. He's not on the road. That's if anything. Oh, oh he's, he's had a snick off that. He's had a massive touch there. On to Greg, three seven. Yes, it looked as though it were going out. That could be a game changer, that Mike. Mm. Yeah, I always say you need luck at this game to win. No luck, no win. Check you out, I know. And that was lucky. To be honest, when things like that happen, you always think that, that maybe it's just meant to be. I mean, he's already had a game where with Ryan where, where possibly he shouldn't have won or maybe didn't deserve to win because of how poor he played in the first half of that game or maybe first two-thirds of that game. But like you know, Mike, you know, any top player will tell you that to win a tournament, you're always going to have one game where you're going to be lucky to get out of. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And he's, he's travelled all the way up from Birmingham to come and pit his skills against Yorkshireman basically after beating Graham Wilson in the second round of the qualifying night and now getting to the final as you know Callum travelling up here playing mm. in players own backyards yeah, it's tough tough it's school a tough school exactly and he's playing a man in form at the moment in Jimmy D he's not here for the fun of it though Mike no Jimmy just wants to pull up a little bit. Yeah, it's just going to stay in, I think. No, it's just... Oh, it's gone out for a Desmond. Aye. Yes, Desmond 2-2. Two, two. Desmond 2-2 two, two leads out at 5-7. Bit seven. of a different game. Yes, it's struggling. It's struggling. Well, it's not going to be a touch of this, Mike. I bet he's wishing he had gone for tape for now. Probably just sneaked him, but... If those count, there's going to be something wrong. Must be, it must be awful to have this problem um, that Greg's got. It's like sort of the yips um, where he can't let the balls go. But Is it a problem? Well, when the, when the balls actually come out and they do get released, they come out really well every time, don't they? I mean, but I, uh, I've never spoke to him, but... Yeah, I'd I, like, to, I, like to have a chat with him and find well, out I'm sure exactly what. I'll tell what. you after. I spoke to a, a Bracken last week about it, and he said it's a, it's a psychological problem he's had. Right. He developed as a youngster. Somebody was heckling him on the side. Right. Um, 
when he was trying to deliver a ball when he was a young kid and it, it's something that's been brought on from that apparently uh, but it, it must be an awful problem to have um, yeah it's yeah. interesting Callum is what, like you say I was talking to somebody earlier on they said he, the, the delay that he gets in releasing his ball in as bad as he was when he was younger so but, but you actually touched on a really important point is that when he does actually release them very seldom is it not a good ball no, you've hit the nail on the head. Um, you know, like you say, it, it might take three or four practice goes, but when they do actually come out, they come out like a dream, and they all go around the jack. I mean, I can't believe James Davison has not stuck the tapes on this when he stuck the tapes on one earlier. This mm. looks a lot shorter to me, Mike. I don't know if you agree. It does to me, but because um, it's at the side, I think he's start is a yeah, bigger target. He just and again, he wished it and gone out. But yeah, going back to Greg's delivery. Um, like you say, when they do come out, they come out nice. But for me, I don't know if you've noticed it, Mike, but the problem seems to get worse for him with the more pressure he gets put under. Um, and the tenser he is and the tighter the game is towards the end of a game, the more do you see that happening. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Callum. And he could have a lot of problems with that, you know, when he gets a little bit older, but... He will have a lot of problems the more he plays in a top level of bowling. Well, you would have thought so. Yeah, but you're always better off to back coming in where it is now, as long as you've got a length. It won't be lasses. No, played one. Not so Three bad Three and a half foot at the side. Greg's come over the other peg. He's turned over. He did, sure he did it. He did it the easy. other last time they came in here. It's not an easy turnover though. No, Mike. it's not. He's found the road, but he's just going to die short. Yeah. We're halfway through the game, and I call the other games, Jim. They've all been sparring the first half of the game, and it's time for somebody just to put the foot on the gas and try and pull away now. But it makes you wonder now with Greg. He's looking at his first ball there. He's got a yard to count first time down. That gap's halved with the second ball, and he's probably got a ball bang up the road. He seems to be on a decent route in. I just don't it's think he's here. Short I think he for me. Short for me. Oh, dear. Short for me. And he'll, he'll be mad as the hatter over that. Dear and me. Suddenly, Jimmy's in banging front and probably in prime position to lengthen it up, Mike. I don't know if you agree, Mike, but I think the green's just starting to die a bit now and going a yard heavier. I noticed that in the finals night when I was in it a um, couple of years ago. And um, and the green does go dead as as the night goes on. It just dies. and, and it dies, it Yeah, dies definitely. But neither man can get more than four or five clear, can they? No. And he won't win bowling balls like that. That's for certain. He's gone and got a knit off it. It's not the best ball, but not the best end either. Jimmy D's just not having all the luck at the moment. Greg's getting the little bits like he did a couple of ends ago in corners. This has got to get past that. He has, he's got a snake, he's pushed it back up road. Jimmy D might be pushing this one out. Yeah, he's played a runner at it. He's trying to hit played it. Played a run on the ball. He's got a pose on. Ah, uh, he's got. It's a fantastic got ball. Two he's out done of it for it. two. He got the two out of it as Jimmy D, 13 apiece. Could be a game changer, that Mike. But like you say about the crowd getting involved, I remember when you won Brig House a few years ago. Cal. It was electric. Uh, you got the crowd going. They were buzzing. They were shouting and bawling, and you were running after them. And Dancing all over the place, like Greg, he's just getting a little bit involved again now. You see, played a good one. Nothing wrong with that though, it Mike. Bring, is it? it brings the crowd into it a little bit rather than playing in a graveyard. This is just going to go out. I think so. I think it's going to go is in. It? Yes, it's it, gone in. Right, it's just stayed in. Shouts like that. You could be the new Keith Atzer. You really could be the new Keith Atzer. Couldn't tip a wheelbarrow, Michael. I've, I've had plenty of practice at wheelbarrows. Well, this one, Mike. He's played a real one. I think he's, he's on it for an two, mate. Absolute real one. I thought Good he was ball. on it for two. Real ball. Yes. Changing of the game, possibly again. He's trying to play a dead draw here, Mike. I think he might have. He's not, he's not a mile off, it. you know, I Cameron. think he's left he's it. It's two for Greg. Oh, he's just going to pull up. Dearie me. He won't be happy with that. Potted meat, as they say around here, mm. Michael. Yes, Mr. Payne's not here potted to listen meat, to you potted saying meat. that. A good Yorkshire saying, Callum. One of Callum's friends' favourite saying, that. 
Greg's up and down again. I think we're just about getting to that stage of the game now where we're going to start seeing that delivery mm. come into play and yeah. come under pressure. Having said that, he's nearly licked this, you know. What an effort this is. Sink. It's and a fantastic ball. What a, a fantastic ball. ball. Jimmy D will probably play about two foot over, just trying to prop that for a brace, Mike. He's played. He's round about, he's isn't he? Or is he just a bit around. narrow? He's gone round the corner. Yeah. He's dragged it across. There is a little bit of danger about here, so whether Greg will go for it for another or just take the one and, and uh revert back to short mark. What do you think, Mike? I think I think he'll he'll half heartedly try. What and leave it four foot short? Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens. Alright, four yards short then. Okay. What was really interesting about that delivery, Callum, is that in the first delivery when the pressure was on, the stutter was there. Yeah. The second delivery no pressure on because he wasn't really coming up to the end. Yeah. No stutter at all. Just got it out. Just bowled a five foot short ball. This is what I'm saying to you. Jimmy's stalking this one. He's going halfway up the green for it. Who wins from here? I think Jimmy D wins now. Yeah, he's Not left bad. it a yard and a bit short. Let's have a look at Greg and put the, the clock on. How long does it take him to get this ball out? Three stutters, four stutters, and he's out fifth time. And he's off the mat with it as well. And it wants to run, and it's the other peg. Yeah. Looks to me that he ain't reached. He ain't reached up the hill. He screamed up the hill from the clubhouse. Just screamed at himself there, there's Greg's, Greg. Greg's body language now, he's starting to get frustrated. Maybe because he's young. Does, does Jim feed off that? Well, Jimmy's nearly knocked him in here. He's tight. They're both going different pegs. They're both going thumb peg, but one left-handed, one right-handed. Now he's got this out. He's put, by, he's put, by, he's by put his it standards, in. pretty sharpish, Callum. Yeah, he, he did get it out pretty sharp. He's, he's definitely far enough anyway. What's he hit? He's got to go out now. Gone out. I thought he'd whizzed it out. The mat's yeah. been chucked down very vigorously. It's all changed now. Jimmy D's going to lead out at 18 17. And the crowd's getting a little bit excited. One or two of the locals have woke up. Wants to run. It's just going to div up. One, of the, one or two of the locals have come up from nowhere now and are starting to condemn Greg a bit. Whether that'll get to him or not, I don't know. Maybe shouting for the brass, Callum. He's possibly so, possibly so. Jimmy D thinks he's made a Desmond, and he's I think he has with a clear run. It. Now you can hear him. Got that away first time. He's after it. He and likes it, you know. Enough. He he's likes it. Enough, he's he's going to go out missing it. everything, but he thinks he's up. He thinks got he's round about. Something. Oh, he's hit and gone out. One to Jimmy D. Nearly had an outrageous hit then. That would have been a, a game changer, Mike. So he's always winding himself up, isn't it? If, if he got heckled then, I mean, you know. Again, he's gone the other peg than Jimmy. He likes it. Well, he's, definitely, he's far enough to Just win anyway. Win with a, with a clear, he's going to breeze in. Going to win it. Jimmy's got to get past those two on his own peg. That didn't come out the best, Mike. No, it didn't. And he's gone the other. He's gone the same peg as Greg. He's gone finger this time, not thumb. And he's a little bit narrow. And he's hit his own. He's left Greg a comfortable oh. chance or two. He got ten foot all round the jack to get another. It's got to be pairing up here, Mike. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. If he pairs up, they can both get up next end. You feel if he pairs up, he goes favourite, really. Yeah. So he didn't even just managed one, to get rid of it. One delivery and that was it. There were a lot bigger balls than uh, than Jimmy D's. Wants to run. I think he's far enough for two. A clear run, to be honest. Yep, good ball, nineteen apiece. Desmond. Now then, Michael who wins. I want to said Jimmy D five minutes ago, but like Callum says, nineteen apiece. Jack in your hand. You go. Only where one you winner go. for me now, Mike. 
I think it's. I think this title's going back to the Midlands again. Do you think so? I think Jimmy D's just going to grab out of it. And as a complete neutral, Greg will play one four foot short. As a complete neutral, I'll say Jimmy D romps home. It's only two foot. Jimmy D's absolutely creamed it out. If he's on a road, he's got a smoker, but I think he he's gone stop. wide. Wants to stop. Wants to stop. He's snicked they it. They all get wide there. I think that's gone out. I think it's gone in, Mike. Do you? Yep. Who's in, ref? Referee hasn't got a clue. Absolutely clueless. If he's on a road, I think he's all right. But he's I don't think he's it. on a route, he's is he? He's nailed it. He's nailed one on. He's still got, he's still got 18 inch there. Greg's saying two, but mm. he's going to say two. Come away, ref. Let him send it. He's creamed it out. Are you sure, Jim? I think, I think it, if I he's think on a road, it's breezed and it's absolutely romped in. What a bowl. What Won a it. tremendous bowl. 2019. The local crowd go wild. The referee's just telling us he thinks that Greg lay up there. He's a good player. You're right, he's gone finger. <laughs> I apologise, Mike. You want to come and watch more often instead of spending time on green? Don't usually do a lot of watching, Mike, do they? <coughs> I've noticed. Has he sent it off? No. It's a long, long way for me, that. I don't know. He's not on road. I'm not a homester by any means, Mike, but I know that I'd be turning me peg mm. here in first bowl. No two ways about it. I wouldn't be playing entertaining that peg. Play, play a yard above the jack. Because that's how difficult this mark is, mm. where Jimmy D just put his lead in. Greg's listened and he's gone the other peg. He's twirled over. As long as he's got something like a length, he's he'll on be the top. Right. He's on the top, but yeah, as if he's, he's a length, he'll have a good one. Surely Jimmy D's got to follow that in now. You'd have thought. Greg wants it to stop. It's a good one. So easy to to put one he's to far here. He's underneath. Well. If anything, he's got, he's got. If he's got a length, he's winning it. He nearly go off the he green. Needs to have a length. Enough. He needs to have a length. He nearly goes off the green, you know. Gone off. Thought it was off the green Not for Mand. It. He's got to take his time and just breeze on in here. As long as he can let go as of it. As long as he keeps it high enough. He's got to let go of it first. Come out, he thinks he's, he's, he's clapping he's his hands, he thinks he's bossed one out. Yeah. He's never not made two here. He's nearly too far and underneath. It's going He's off. never. Oh, no, no, no. Well, well, well. 20 apiece. I've seen it all, Mike. The only thing I'll say about that was he was in once. Sometimes he never actually gets in. And he wasn't short. And he wasn't short, Jim, you're correct. I always want to send a jack at 20 apiece. He's played one. He wants to stop. He's buzzed to one far. out, it's going to go a four foot. Now then, Jimmy, can you nail one? He stayed that peg. It's not too far. Everyone, all the crowd like it, all the locals like it. There's no choice the about it, a big hand will be coming out. Let's see how good he is at striking now on the no, extreme. he's trying to lick it. Oh my God. He's trying to lick he's a front to lick toucher. A toucher. He's nearly licked it as well. Gone out. Well, that Jimmy did surprise Davison. me. 21-20. It was a big surprise, that Callum. I big couldn't, surprise. I couldn't believe that choice of bowl for someone of his quality. Um, an All-England champion. Surely, with, with this striking prowess, there's only one shot there, and he had to put that into a thousand pieces. Part of a learning curve for the lad, doing it? Definitely for me, curve. definitely. I think he'll learn a lot from that tonight. It'll be absolutely devastating when he gets home, having had probably a good maybe two and a half, three yards to get in for game, second to last end. We can just see how distraught he is in the middle of the green now. But um, he'll learn a lot from that, won't he? It's not, he won't think now it's as all as easy as it seemed in, in his own county. And Jimmy D wins two of the biggest sweeps in Yorkshire, 21-20.
Joined now with the 2013 Putty Classic runner-up, Greg Smith. Greg, you've come through a really, really tough uh, qualifying field, had an excellent performance on the night and just felt short, but how do you feel about your efforts? Yeah, I feel I've done well. Um, obviously, I've beat three good players who know the green well uh, to qualify, and then it's the same on finals day, really. I've come through a tough field and it's, it's a bit gutting to lose in the final 21-20. Uh, the green looks to suit you, you're playing short and playing tidy most of the, most of the evening, uh, but you're going to have to mention that penultimate mentor was and what was going through your head just there. Yeah, I mean, uh, when Jimmy sent his last one off, um, I did think it was in the bag probably, but, you know, I've, I've sent it out a bit quick and it's gone off and it's hard to compose yourself then for the uh, for the final end at 20 across, but he's, he's played a good one and I've just ducked out. Yeah, we'll comment on you. It's your first time at the competition and doing a little bit of travelling up into Yorkshire. Um, after the back of, on the back of an, an All England success, can you see the season as a, a good season? Yeah, I mean it's probably a season where I've uh, come of age. Really, I mean I've probably overachieved really with my targets from uh, that set at the start of the season. So yeah, I'm pleased pleased that it's gone. And a good first effort at Pudsey. Will you be back next year? Yeah, definitely. The green, the people, uh, people at the club, and Catering's brilliant. Uh, and I'll travel up with a few of my mates again and give it another crack next year. Well, that line's Greg, but well done anyway. Thank you. I'm joined now with uh, 2013 Pudsey Classic winner James Davison. Uh, Jimmy, what a year you've had, and it's finished tonight with a, a fantastic performance and a close 21 20 win. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, a br fantastic night. Uh, love coming to Pudsey, great club. Um, yeah, it, it's it's been a really nice way to finish the year. I feel like I've finished it stronger than I usually would, um, because quite often by this time of the year I just wouldn't be playing bowls. But of course, the champion of champions last week and Rastrick the week before, bits and pieces, it's just kept me going really. And um, what better way to finish than winning a comp of this of this quality? You know, with a field of this quality as well. You know, you're looking at people like Simon Cowp and Callum Ray. Uh, you know, Greg Smith, the All England champion. You know, it's it's just a it's, it's a brilliant way to finish the year. Uh, you're beating some top bowlers on your way in uh, in the recent competition you've been playing in. But I want a bit more emphasis on being twenty, being winning twenty one twenty in two finals. What's going through your head in those latter stages? <laughs> well, in the latter stages of this one, I was thinking, I don't believe I've just thrown it away in that in that manner. Um, yeah, beat Scott twenty one Scott Fisher twenty one twenty at Rastrick. Um, in very different circumstances to tonight, to be honest. Um, I thought I'd thrown it away at, uh, at 98 to, what was it, 2019, in front, needing a decent lead. Didn't produce one. He bowled a good and I ditched my second and I thought, that's game over. But thankfully, um, although I do feel for Greg, he couldn't convert and obviously um, managed to gather myself for the last end and um, you know play a decent bowl. And to be fair, he almost beat it as well when he had no right to. But uh, it was a it was a great way to finish. To be honest, we just t two twenty one twenty wins in finals. I, I guess says something about you know showing some metal. Albeit tonight, for people that actually watch the final, they'll probably think that uh, it could have been a very different story, and we could have been having a much you know le less happy conversation had uh, had Greg done what. I think we all expected him to do at that at that last but one end. You've always told me that Puds is not your favourite green. Has that changed this evening? It's changed this season, to be honest. I, I uh, I've played really well on here this year. I don't. In fact, I don't think I've lost a game on it, league or comp. I think, and um, I'm starting to warm to the place. And uh, long may it continue, as far as I'm concerned, despite the fact that you guys have got a great side. Well, excellent, Jimmy. Thanks very much and uh, enjoy the victory. Thank you very much. Cheers. Andrew, we spoke to you early in the day. Sum up how you're feeling right now. Very proud. Uh, amazing finish. Great, great final. But I'd given up at the last end but one when um, Young Smith, I've forgotten his first name now, but um, Young Smith had got yards to get in and unfortunately for him, he just overplayed it and off it went into the box. So it was like a new lease of life for him, for Jimmy particularly, but for me as well. And then Jimmy bowls the front toucher and it's all over. So I'm very pleased for him. He's had a fantastic season. Put a lot of money in the bank and it's very nice for him. Young family, young kids. So it's, it's nice to add to his uh, salary earnings a few quid at bowls. But uh, yeah, very, very happy for him. And getting in the champion of champions so soon 
having played in it last Saturday. And so it'll be his third consecutive year having a go at that, hopefully third time lucky. To welcome the uh, Putty Classic organiser with now, Andrew Hodgson. Andy, reflect on this year's competition. I, I think it's gone excellent, mate. Uh, I think we've played a master stroke by playing it in the afternoon, rather the evening. We've been blessed, obviously, by the good weather this afternoon, but uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, the quality of the field was exceptional, as always. You know, numerous county players and lo a few local players, which always adds interest to the, to the spectators, etc. But, uh, you know, a brilliant night. I mean, the green's been in great condition. We, we've had a top night. I mean, I, I, I couldn't have asked for more, to be honest. You know, it's, it's gone really well. So there we have it, the 2013 Putsy Classic. A new format this year with the afternoon finals, a new sponsor and a new winner. Thanks for watching. Online, on demand, on bluebottersports.co.uk.